Hi guys, this is Shai Swede and in this video I'm gonna talk about my first impressions about the game Idle Devils. As the title says, Idle Devils is a idle RPG hero collecting game that was released on Google Play about two to three weeks ago and so far it's had about a thousand downloads and it's only released in early access so so far you can't give any reviews or anything on it and that means also that the game is still under development so there is still a lot of things in the game that will be a subject for change until they got get everything right. I am now about maybe an hour into the game and this is the main screen that you, you start out at. And there is a lot of different areas, different things to do in this game that you unlock along the way. Depending on how far you make it into the campaign, depending on what stage you're at. So if we look over here, there is a whole bunch of areas that I still have not unlocked because I'm only at level 61 as of now. Yeah, I have spent a lot of time to try to in explore the game and see what it's all about. So I haven't really focused that much on making progress so far. But uh, as you can see, the, the last thing you unlock is the wall, which unlocks at stage 1600. So you have a lot of things to unlock along the way and it's gonna take quite some time I feel like to unlock everything but in the beginning uh, you have the stage this the campaign unlocked and this is where you start out you start out with one hero so I'm gonna show you how how the uh, the campaign looks like so th this is pretty much the idle part of the game you can just start the campaign then you can leave your phone and go away somewhere and it will just do all the fighting for you and you can put it on full auto so it actually enters the boss fights automatically as well and this will progress you as far as your heroes can take you eventually your heroes will not be strong enough and they will lose a fight and you will just start that stage over and you will continue gaining resources but you will not progress any further so th this is where you need to start leveling up your heroes. You can find your heroes down here in the corner, usually it looks like this, and you open this menu up and you can find different things you can go into. So let's go check the hero section out. And as you can see, I already have seven different five-star heroes. I feel like in the beginning you're getting a lot of five-star heroes, so I, I'm really wondering if the uh, the pace is gonna continue like this and the progression is gonna continue being as fast as it is in the beginning I I hope not because if it does then you're gonna run out of things to do and heroes to collect pretty fast it feels like there is four different factions in this game uh, I have no idea how many heroes uh, but they all have three four and five star heroes as far as I've noticed and of course the five star heroes are the best and you can go into the heroes and you can level them all up and this is one I got recently and I've leveled it up to level 30 that's the maximum level at the first ascension so then you have to ascend the hero and it costs uh, your resources that you collect during the campaign let's see here so now I have ascended my Lava Griffin up to uh, second ascension. So now I can start leveling her up even more. So let's see if I hold this mouse button, I level her up to level 60. And this is now my first hero that I might be able to ascend to the third level of ascension. So th this is pretty nice. As in any other game, this is where you this screen is where you find all the information you need about your hero, the attributes, how strong they are and so on and how you equip them. But overall, it seems like it's pretty easy to get nice heroes and you can progress in the game pretty fast. And the main way to get new heroes is in the tavern. You get these cards to summon heroes and after a while in the game you start getting a, quite a lot of them so uh, I have been able to do some summons already I'm gonna show you now how to do a heroic summon times 10 and let's hope we get something good last time I got a 5 star so let's see here yeah I got another 5 star this one I didn't have before either so it's that's nice it look 
it really looks like you are able to get a lot of five stars really early on and you can level them up to to help your progression a lot let's go back to the main screen uh, you have the tower of infinity you unlock pretty early in the game this is where you fight different levels in the tower and the further you progress you get more rewards you have the hunter's hut where you go on treasure hunting you get loot that you can use for your progression in the game you have the hall of heroes this is where you can actually trade in some of your lesser heroes uh, towards better heroes like five stars you get this one for free in the game because you already get these in the beginning and you also have over here the castle this is where you upgrade your buildings and you can change your castle skin and so on and hero transformer this is where you can exchange one five star hero for another if you want to so you can choose one here and you press OK and you get to choose another hero to, to exchange and you have a certain percentage of chance to get the hero that you want marketplace is where you buy stuff as any other game event hall is where you'd go do events you have event points that you can use uh, it's kind of like energy and you get five for uh, per hour or something like that I think and that's as far as I've gotten into the game so my overall impression of the game so far is is pretty good I have to say I I enjoy playing it it's pretty fun and it's it's always nice with idle games because you can uh, you can leave the game on and when you come back a lot of things have happened and you can start leveling your heroes up and, and so on so I really like the graphics in the game and it's going to be interesting to see what all the new things you unlock are one thing of the things that I really look forward to unlocking is the world button down here at stage 120 this is supposed to be a kind of a multiplayer thing where you join up with other players around the world to beat bosses which is supposed to give you nice rewards so it's gonna be fun to see what that is and uh, I am guessing that you can join a guild somehow I haven't really looked into that yet but overall it's a fun game if you like idle games I think you're going to like this and it has a few features that I haven't seen in, a, in an idle game before especially not these many different things to do so give it a try and that's it for this video and if you like this video please give me a like please give me a subscribe